सो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस शॉर्ट वीडियो सीरीज दैट इज द ट्रिक्स ऑफ ट्रेड इन जी आई सर्जरी दिस इज द फोर्थ वीडियो एंड इन दिस शॉर्ट वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वॉट द आर्कुएट लाइन दैट इज हाउ टू यूज दिस एनाटमिकल लैंडमार्क बाइल क्लोजिंग द मिड लाइन लेपरॉटमी सो फ्रेंड्स द आर्कुएट लाइन विच इज ऑल्सो नोन एज लीनिया सेमी ल्यूनेरिस और द सेमी सर्कुलर लाइन ऑफ डगलस दिस एनाटमी इज जस्ट अ रेपिटेशन फॉर मैनी ऑफ यू बट दिस इज अ बाइटल information for somebody who is just venturing into the field of surgery and while closing the abdomen he can use this information effectively uh, that will be helpful for the patient and for the trainee so hopefully you have already watched our previous three video in this series the first video we discussed how to go around the oblicus while giving a midline incision the second video we discussed finding linea alba in a obese patient and how to have a bloodless entry into the abdomen especially in a morbid obesity patient third short video we discuss how to basically go around the uh, falciparum uh, and uh, to avoid unnecessarily troublesome bleed while approaching the upper end of the midline laparotomy so friends this whole series and other surgical courses are available on our app and the app is available for both android and ios it is free to download app and for a better learning experience it is desirable and requested that you download the app and link are available in the description of this video or if you want to watch this series on youtube only then you need to subscribe to our channel the link for same is also available in the description of this video coming to the content of this uh, short video so friends arcuate line as all of you might be aware it is roughly basically uh, if we divide the uh, this distance between umbilicus and the pubic symphysis it is roughly 1/3 from the pubic symphysis in this picture it is bit higher so roughly it is 1/3 and 2/3 uh, junction from the umbilicus and the pubic symphysis and uh, as you are aware that it is the place where the posterior rectus sheath is deficient and uh, this anatomy will uh, become better as we discuss in this video and it is also the place where you will get a spigelian hernia so friends it is a spigelian hernia as you know it is between the lateral border of the rectus abdominis and the linea semilunaris so or the arcuate line so it is the place just remember where the rectus sheath is deficient and all the three uh, basically abdominal musculature epidermises come in front of the rectus abdominis so uh, briefly we have three abdominal muscle that is the first is external oblique then is internal oblique then is transverse abdominis this is not means already all of you are knowing so the above the arcuate line like in this pictorial depiction so the